I'm Petra Colbert here at Fitness Glow. So today, we're gonna to go over how to do a squat. This is a movement you'll see in many of the classes here at Fitness Glow. So, first thing I want you to think about is actually your foundation. So normally for a squat, you want your feet right under your hips. And many times, we take a big too wide of a stance or too narrow of a stance. So right away, look down at your feet and open them up just a little bit. Then I actually want you to think of sitting into a chair. Let me show you. So we've got a chair right here. I'm going to turn it sideways. And I want you to imagine you're going to sit down into the chair and don't touch the chair and then come right back up again. So let's put our hands on our thighs and your weight goes back into your heels ever so slightly. Pull your abdominals slightly in and up. Good, roll your shoulders back, and now ever so slightly bend from your knees and your hips, and imagine you're gonna sit down into a chair, and then come right back up again. Let's try that one more time. Sitting back into a chair, and come right back up. Now this is what you tend to do, or I often do this too. Your knees are gonna jut way too far forwards. So again, put your weight a little bit further into your heels. Can you lift your toes up? Good, one more time. Sitting back into a chair, and then come right back up. So that's the feeling of a squat. Another thing you want to be really aware of is the alignment of your knees. Oftentimes, we'll tend to have our knees roll inwards. It feels really comfortable to kind of sit here. So again, as you squat down, I want you to think of your knees tracking right over your middle toe. Let's try that together. Sit back into the chair, knees tracking right over your toes, and come back up. Beautiful, one last time. Sitting back into a chair, now look down at your knees, going right over the middle toe and come back up. One other thing I want you to think about before we move to external resistance, that is your chest. I want you to think of rolling your shoulders back, like there's a little string pulling your heart up and back. So we're gonna sit back into the chair, but keep your heart up towards me, and then come right back up again. Let's try that one more time. Again, weight back into the heels, heart lifts, belly pulls in, and we come back up. Beautiful. Remember, if it doesn't feel good, take a little break at any time. It's about quality, not quantity. Now, when you've been doing the squat for a while, you're ready to take some external resistance. It might be a medicine ball, it might be a weight. So for today, let's take one weight to start. And again, as many places you can hold the weight. You can hold it down by your thighs. I like to actually hold it up in front of my chest. It adds a little bit more load to the squat. Same exact thing. You want to make sure that you don't lean into the weight. Chest stays, stays lifted. Sitting back into your heels, knees over the toes. Come right back up again. One more time. Back into your chair. Squeeze the abdominals. Squeeze through the glutes to press up. Beautiful. Again, if you have two weights, exact same thing. We're just going to hold one either side of the body. Again, chest stays lifted. The tendency is to roll over the minute we add external load. Sitting back into the heels. Driving up. Sitting back into the heels. And driving up. Now, if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can always hold them at your shoulders. Let's try that once more together. One more time. Moving back into the heels. Belly tight, chest lifted. And press up. And one more time, remembering not to hold your breath. Exhale as you push up. You're looking great. Remember, anytime you do a squat, focus on quality, not quantity, and just do the best that you can.